All right, so Wi-Fi in the shop. What do I got going on here? Uh, used D-Link. D-I-R-880-L. Three antenna. Notice I took the middle one off. I've got a big giant coax with a connector. I messed up and bought the wrong cable, so I had to use a, a, an adapter connector basically. So when you get your cable, buy the correct one for your router, the, for the port. A lot of these, <clears throat> a lot of these routers are not advertised as external antenna compatible. You just have to look and see if you can unscrew these and they have the metal connector like you can see see the metal see the metal on this one it's a standard connector so then you can add an external antenna so basically what I'm doing is I have this repeating my home Wi-Fi which is about I don't know 250 feet that way through the wall of course through the house wall through a bunch of rooms to my office where the internet router and cable modem is and I have it with a Yagi style antenna of course all link links will be in the description and here it is All right, so you saw the antenna. Yes, it's sitting on my pressure washer. I need to get some U-bolts to uh, anchor it up on my pole outside. But here's my antique Mac. So I'm doing it real time so you can see I didn't edit anything. We'll go up here, turn Wi-Fi on. You can see that antenna. Right there, shop. See the good bars? Because the router is right here. Let's connect to it. There we go, connected. Let's go to the ever popular VW site. And there, bam, there we go. Let's see if uh, Google speed test will work. All right, there we go. It's because my darn browser was old and the Google speed test wouldn't work. So, let's see what we got here. Keep in mind, internet speed test, not 2008 MacBook uh, speed tests. Okay. So, one router feeding another router through a giant antenna in my yard for 250 feet in the shop. Yeah, a bunch of junk. You can see it's my shop. 1183 download, upload. Well, that's crazy. They're both about the same. So you can see it works. It's not going to, you know, I'm not here playing 4K PS4 games, but I'll be able to stream some uh, 1080p video and surf the net for uh, car repair manuals or whatever so I'll post a link of how I set up that router because that is a little bit weird you need custom firmware if your router doesn't do it because a lot of routers don't and the firmware is free it's just a little bit more difficult so I'll post that in the description also so again like all my videos not a super in-depth how-to but it will definitely get you in the right direction and hope it helps.